Our Valley Santa Clarita, we create success for your business. This program is brought to you by Newhall Pharmacy. the show is Our Valley Santa Clarita. I'm here with my lovely and very talented co-host, Nancy Angel. Bill. Nancy. Yes. Looking good. Thank you. What are you not wearing? What am I not wearing? I'm going to do a little twirl because I love this romper. It's called a romper, by the way. Absolutely love it. Wow. It's, it's red. I got it at uh, Misol, and it's located on the corner of 8th Street and Main Street and Old Town New Hall. And I absolutely love it. I love this store because the owners are very friendly. They help you with the outfits. They make you feel at home. And it's just an amazing store. And it just has a really good feel. And I love the style. And they not only have good clothing, they have great accessories great to go accessories. with them, right? Great accessories. I actually got this accessory from it, too. Don't Isn't you that like cool? it? I do. I love it. I love the color. See, you couldn't, you couldn't wear this. You <laughs> we have an exciting show today. We do. We have another exciting show today. Our goal is to inspire, educate, and motivate. We're going to inspire, educate, and motivate today. The theme of the show is beauty and fashion. And I can't think of a more beautiful and fashionable lady than Lori Tucci, who's going to be on our show today. So right after this break, we're going to start the show. Trip to Parkway in Valencia, off the five. Now they call me Han, cause my monthly payment's so low. Sprung for that Cadillac, what? Cause YOLO. Selection, service, satisfaction, guaranteed. Who's down with PP? Yeah, you know me. No money down, it's almost a steal. They're more generous than Oprah. You get a deal and you get a deal. Car shopping done right makes it easy choosing. PP and little bro, Parkway got us cruising. When I grow up, I want to help animals. When I grow up, I want to help animals. When I grow up, I want to help animals. Every parent knows the feeling. You look away and your child is gone. Imagine if he or she were actually abducted. Sign up at wirelessamberalerts.org to get free Amber Alert text messages on your cell phone. If you did help an abducted child get home, just imagine what his parents would be feeling. Wireless Amber Alerts, a child is calling for help. Every trip, every time. Up, so you and your friends get home safely. I must scream into the world from the top of some place very high. Seatbelts save lives. Okay. Visit NHTSA.gov. Low and slow. <laughs> Best friend, what are you going to do? Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. That is spectacular advice. Welcome back. The show theme today is beauty and fashion, and Nancy yes. is going to school me yes. on beauty and fashion. So Nancy, where are you going to begin? Where am I going to begin? Well, first of all, uh, one of the things that I kind of like to tell people, it really doesn't matter what item of clothing you wear. It doesn't matter what kind of style you're into. It's about how you feel about yourself when you wear this item of clothing. It's all about confidence. I could wear the ugliest dress ever, but if I feel good and if I think that I'm rocking it, I'm going to look good no matter what. So it's about e expressing your individuality, what makes you feel comfortable, and, and having the attitude to go along with it because it's not just the item of clothing. It's how you feel when you're in that item of clothing. Does that make any sense? Yes. And, and a lot of the things with fashion, 
one of the things that I've always tell people, it's you can tell whenever someone's having a good day or a bad day, depending on what they're wearing. If, if you're sad, if you're depressed, if you don't feel confident, you kind of drown in your clothes. You kind of wear things that kind of just overpower you. And, and, and But if you feel confident, like, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm a confident person all the time because I have my insecurities just like anyone else. You're going to wear stuff that are a little bit more revealing because you feel confident. You know that you can rock it, like, for example, with what I'm wearing. That's a lot more revealing. You know, it's not that revealing. <laughs> you should see what other people are wearing out there. But it's it's not so much what you wear. It's about how you feel. Nancy, you Nancy calls me an old man because I think she's wearing a little more revealing than she should. But you got to understand, I raised three daughters and I had a clothing standard when I was raising them. And what was a clothing standard? That's borderline where it was. Where it was? Yeah. So you told me that you would make them go upstairs and... And change. It, and change? Absolutely. Oh man. But that's when they were teenagers. That's when they were Now teenagers. they wear what they want. They're like you. They're like me. You're, well, you're like one of my daughters. Well, yeah, definitely. That's why I purposely chose this outfit because I knew you were going to have a couple of things to say about it. You wanted to stretch the envelope. I did. I wanted to stretch <laughs> the uh, envelope. I wanted to be a little bit rebellious today. But, <laughs> but Tell me about your accessory. The accessory, it, it, it's kind of what makes the outfit pop. It's, it's very important to kind of carry the right accessory with whatever that you're wearing because if you're wearing something simple, like I consider this outfit to be a little simple, um, you want to have something that kind of stands out and something that pops. So I got the little, I have the little belt going on and, and a little bit of the brace, uh, necklace going on. But because the necklace is kind of flashy, I'm not wearing any any earrings or anything else because it's it, it, it's the main accessory and it's what makes it pop. You have to know how to be able to coordinate outfits along with the makeup, along with the hair, along with everything if you know you want to look okay. I like the way you use the term pop. 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 So so you want an outfit that's not doesn't just look good but an not outfit that catches the eye. I think that's what you mean by makes it pop, yes? Yes, absolutely. And uh, this summer uh, the colors are popping. Does that, you, know what the, you know what that means? The colors are popping this summer. Colors are popping. They're popping because uh, you're going to see a lot of people wearing the yellows, the orange, the greens. Uh, you're going to see a lot of people miss and match. Um, the, the style for this summer is not matching, if that makes sense. So you're going to see people wearing like a turquoise short with like a coral shirt. It's all about the colors that pop. But not only that, it's how you carry yourself when you wear those. It's all about the confidence because that is the final accessory to whatever outfit that you wear. So some people think that maybe they don't have the best figure in the world. Maybe they don't have the best shape in the world. Maybe they don't, they're not feeling the best as you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. They're not feeling themselves as being the best they can be. Mm -hmm. How do they get to pop? It's all about how you feel about yourself. It's all about the confidence. It's all about within. You have to come to a point to realize that everybody comes in different shapes and sizes. I am not going to look like the person that's next to me. I will never be a size zero. I will never be a size two. I'm a Latina. I have curves. I've learned to embrace them. And as soon as you accept that, as soon as you feel confident in your own skin, it doesn't matter what you wear, it's, 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 it's gonna translate. So at first it starts with within, and once you accept that you're beautifully unique and you're beautifully imperfect, then that's when you'll get to that point. Does that make sense? That does, and I like the way you say that, beautifully imperfect. Because nobody's perfect. I have a lot of, I have a lot of scars, I have a lot of imperfections in my body, but I've learned to love every single part of it because that's what makes me that's what makes me stand out and i know that the person next to me is also just as imperfect as i am and so part of being beautiful and fashionable whether you're male or female whether you're young or old whether you're fat or skinny or everything in between tall or short is how you feel inside it's all about it's all about how you feel inside and that translates with what you wear how you behave, how you associate yourself with people everything comes from within everything comes with energy what kind of energy you kind of give off. So if you kind of give off kind of like a, a, a negative, woe is me, I don't look good, I don't feel good, it's going to translate with what you wear and how you associate yourself with people. So part of how you should start your day is you get up in the morning yeah. 
and you have some water because water's great for you, right? Mm -hmm. Starts the system going. Right. You have a healthy, wholesome breakfast because that starts the metabolism going and then you feel good and you energize yourself. Yeah. I love it. When we come back, Lori Tucci. <laughs> You promised me the world. Is this what you had in mind? Every choice we make has a consequence. Help Earthshare and its members restore balance to the world. Visit earthshare.org and see what you can do. Earthshare, one environment, one simple way to care for it. Horseradish. Is that for horses? Remember me, Mr. Lobster? From last Tuesday? Ba-na-na. 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 Here comes the rain. We need a hat. <laughs> and why do we need a hat? Hmm? You say joy. That's right. When you talk with your child, you build vocabulary. And learning starts long before school does. For more tips, go to bornlearning.org. Mrs. Johnson, good to see you again. This is Mike. You can trust him. He looks just like you. I'll be sucking up to you in order to make you sign the loan. So, here are your low monthly payments and interest rate as we promised. Here's where they triple. The rest of this is really just here so that we get your house when you can't pay us back. Such a lovely house. Predatory yes. lenders are never this easy to spot. Call us and protect yourself with the facts. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey. Where have you been? I lost my cat. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, so I made this cat magnet to try and get him back. Cool. Does it work? Kinda. Ow! Nice. Yeah, but that's not my cat. I gotta keep working on it. See ya. See ya. Anything's possible. Keep thinking. Get started on your own inventions or just play some games at inventnow.org. back to our valley santa clarita i am so excited for today's show i don't know so much about bill because i think he's very foreign when it comes to beauty and fashion so i am going to take the lead on this one if you don't mind so you don't like my pink shirt i absolutely love it do you like my outfit is a question Go on. All right. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking to Lori Tucci, who is, I would say, an expert when it comes to beauty and fashion. And she would actually agree with me that I am very up to the fashion standards and it's not as bad as you think it is. Right, Lori? Oh, absolutely. You look beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad it's your legs that are showing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lori, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you kind of got started into beauty and fashion and ultimately opening up your clothing store, which is called Via Tucci, which we'll talk a little later about that. Okay. Okay. Well, honestly, it hasn't been that long. It's been just slightly over a year mm -hmm. that Via Tucci has been open in New Hall in the Old Town Main Street area. And um, it happened more as a mistake than anything else or just a fluke because it's something I've always loved, something I've always been fascinated with and, and just interested in. And um, I retired a few years earlier when we moved to California and I just wasn't cut out to be a retired person. I'm very type A and active and involved mm -hmm. and um, so decided to combine my interest, my interest with my activity level and, and go for it. So we opened the Via Tucci about a year ago and I have been loving every second of it. Awesome, so tell us a little bit more about the variety and the type of clothes that, that, that you sell. And you also do accessories as well. We do, we do kind of the whole array. Um, we primarily, I would say the best way to describe Via Tucci clothing is comfy, casual, boho. Um, I think you can look beautiful. You can go to a, a dressy event or you can hang out for the day with your girlfriends and be comfortable but look phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I don't think being comfortable means you look sloppy or you're in your sweatpants. I think it, you can look beautiful and be comfortable and, and, and elegant at the same time. Uh, Bill, do you know what boho means? Uh, yeah, I was going to ask that question, ah! so I was afraid to jump in. I have no idea what boho can means. Can you please explain to him? So more of a bohemian look, if you kind of put your mindset back into a um, 60s to 70s kind of phase where it's more flowy, it's more loose, it's comfortable, a lot of natural um, fabrics and, and blends and patterns and, and just kind of gives you a little bit of an edge of fun, but not out there wild and crazy, but definitely focuses a lot on the loose, flowy, comfy um, feel. 
So it's just, it's a very pretty look. It's very popular right now. It has been popular since the 70s, but in little bits and pieces, you might see fringe, you might see big maxi dresses, you might see lace, um, kind of think Stevie Nicks. All more, <laughs> more towards the independent thinking women, a little more edgy maybe? You know, that's a really good question. I, I think maybe some people might think that, but then if you really look around, there's, there's elements of it on almost all taste levels all age levels because you can go way out there and just be crazy hippie chick if that's what you want to be or totally. not crazy but out there um, or you can just have a really beautiful conservative outfit that just has a little bit of flare of lace or a little bit more of a drapey jacket over it or something and it just pulls in that element of style with whatever your comfort zone is. See one of the things that I love about fashion is that it recycles through time. Mm -hmm. It does. So you see people rocking bell bottoms, you see people rocking like uh, different types of dresses that people would wear in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. And that's the beautiful thing about, pa about fashion. You can recycle it. You don't even have to throw it away because in five, 10 years from now, that's gonna be up the style again. Don't you agree? Absolutely, and every once in a while they'll tweak just a little bit, whether it's right. a tighter leg with a bigger bell or whether it's um, you know, just a, a real simple difference, the real high-waisted pants that you're seeing now where we went through that whole long right. phase of oh low-lying hip pants. <laughs> overalls, so yeah, overalls, overalls are, are back, back in style. Uh, you know, overalls were back in, I would, little kids would wear overalls, now adults are wearing overalls. I mean, you see it, it kind of, it's a, yeah. it, it recycles. And right. don't throw them away if you have them. I don't have them. <laughs> <laughs> pink, pink shirts will be back anytime now, I'm sure of it. Pink shirts? <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. I love I love the store. You're you're if I can use a word embedded in closet on Main Street. Mm -hmm. So you have you have that front left as you walk in the door, which is really boutique-ish. Yep. And you have an outstanding array of clothing and an outstanding array of accessories. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about your accessories? I can. I think as you're describing the store, I think that's one of the things that is wonderful about my location and also a little bit confusing to people is I'm located within the Closet on Main. So there's a beautiful storefront called the Closet on Main and it's a, a piece of Single Mothers Outreach where they sell resale clothing and give all of the proceeds to Single Mothers Outreach and the, the women in the programming there. Um, by being a volunteer there, we decided to build a little boutique within the walls in the front window, as you're mentioning. And so it's been a great opportunity for me to continue to help them, but they're helping me tremendously as well. And, and as far as accessories, and specifically to your point, just kind of goes the range again. I try to keep mm -hmm. scarves, handbags, um, some, some different clutches, some beach totes, lots of earrings, necklaces, and bracelets, things like that, just to kind of dress up whatever you're wearing and give it a punch a little bit. It's amazing how much of a difference your accessories can make to what you're wearing. So, You don't have to worry about accessories. You know, all, your accessory is your tie. I mean, it's so difficult being a woman sometimes because <laughs> you have to wear the earrings. You have to wear the, the necklace. If you're wearing something simple and you want it to pop, you could put a scarf, you could put this. It's, it's difficult. It's very difficult. You need to give us a lot, a lot of credit because I do. of that. I do. I do. I, I give my wife credit. I give my children credit. Good. They cannot walk out of the house wearing that outfit. But yes, <laughs> I give them lots of credit. What, what don't you like about the outfit? <laughs> I love the outfit. Mm, okay, good. But you're like a daughter to That's me. That's true. Okay. That's true. You know, you, you know, there are outfits that, that you want someone else to wear, but you don't want your wife or your daughters That's to wear. Right. That's absolutely Sorry. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, and when I chose this outfit, I knew that you were going to have something <laughs> to say about it. And I wanted to specifically save this outfit for uh, our fashion segment because I know that uh, you would be raising a couple of eyebrows. Yeah, and here I, I, I put on my pink shirt for our fashion segment, and I'm not, you know, well. I liked it. But, you know, we're going to take a short break, Lori. When okay. we come back, I want to know more about you and your family and your sons. Okay. Okay? Okay, absolutely. So we're going to take a short break. When we come back, Lori Tucci. Explore new worlds. Read. Visit literacy.gov and let the journey begin.
The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Have you been a dad today? Welcome back to Our Valley Santa Clarita. We are here talking to Miss Lori Tucci and we're getting a little up close and personal during this second segment because I want to know a little bit more about you because you said that you were kind of uh, new when it came to, to, to starting off your business and kind of being involved in the community and, 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 and tell us a little bit more about why you decided to, to be a part of Single Mothers Outreach. Um, I think it's a great question. I, it was by accident again. My, I think things are just meant to happen. And, right. and um, my entire previous career was with the nonprofit world. And I was a director of a big brother, big sister of Southern Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And so when we moved here, I was really relieved and, and um, happy to have just time and freedom and my own focus in my own family and not be working so many hours. But I missed the nonprofit world and I missed the value it put in my life and, and how much I enjoyed the people and and the rewards of just knowing that you were being part of something bigger and better and so I eventually started looking around Santa Clarita and as you mentioned in your last segment there's a million places to help in this community right. just a really giving great community so um, I was giving a lot of um, sneak peeks at different ones little different ways at events or, or helping in little ways with Special Olympics or with the Boys and Girls Club and etc and one day I walked in the door of the closet on Main that Margot had just recently opened and just loved it. I absolutely love it because it combines something I selfishly love and you know and just I'm so interested in with being able to help out other people and it it's so much more than a store in there. It really is. It's a it's a community. There's really a great New Hall community um, that has been here for years and years and has made it one of the best parts of Santa Clarita in my opinion and they're all still there but at the same time New Hall is really being revived and revitalized and there's some really interesting cool new aspects to New Hall. But we're not losing the old New Hall. I don't feel like every day in our store there's many, many women and children that have been here for years and they had made New Hall what it is. So I just love being there. And it's, it's a supportive place. It's a nurturing place. And not just for the single mothers in the program, but for, a lot of the volunteers are there because it puts uh, an enriching kind of piece to their life. And, and we've all become good friends. And it's just a great, great way for me to be connected to the community. So Now, you came to us from Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Tell us about growing up in Minnesota, and, <laughs> and then the big question, how did you meet your husband? <laughs> he was growing nice. up first, though. I know. <laughs> um, I, I grew up in Minnesota. I have just a phenomenal family. I have two sisters and, and a mom and dad. I just recently lost my dad, but it really reassured in, in our family dynamic just what an amazing family I have and how fortunate I am. And I think it makes me who I am today. I just was raised so well and so beautifully. and, and have tried so much to replicate what I learned rather than some people who go out and try to do it better or do it. I, I really had that benefit. So I was raised primarily in Minnesota. Um, I went to college in Iowa at Iowa State and I met my husband there. He was my boss. <laughs> 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 Sounds better than it is because he never actually asked me out until he resigned and moved on. He graduated and moved on and then he asked me out but um, we ended up staying together and he's from Michigan in the Iowa area. So. So that's how I met him, and we have two children. We have a and daughter. His and his name son. is? His name is Charles Auger. Charles Auger. So yes. you're really Lori <laughs> Tucci Auger. Right. So I took my maiden name for the store name, Via right. Tucci. Um, but my actual name is Lori Tucci Auger. Yep. I'm very as, as proud of the Auger part as the Tucci part. <laughs> great, great. Tell us about the boys. Um, I actually have a daughter and a son. Oh, sorry. Yep. Hannah will not appreciate it if we skip her. <laughs> <laughs> um, my daughter's 25. She just moved to Seattle and loves it, is working, finished college, and doing phenomenal. My son, Cal, is 24, and he moved back to Minnesota and is going to school part-time there and working part-time and just being Cal, just being a really interesting, fun guy. So they're both doing beautifully, and they're too far away for my preferences, but, um, but I'm very proud of them. They're doing great. Great. So. And Cal plays hockey? He played hockey when he was younger, not any longer. He's becoming okay. an old man quickly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah. And, and you went to Iowa State. Mm -hmm. 
And we could still talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Nebraska. Did you? You were a Husker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. I wonder, I had a friend that wrestled for Nebraska, so I was there frequently. It was a fun place to be. So well, I Iowa State is the best wrestling school in the country. Yeah, there was a little bit of a rivalry there oh, in the yeah. 80s when I was there. <laughs> yeah, that's, just, I was, just told you how old I was. I was just going to say that. Am I sensing a little bit of rivalry between bit. Iowa and, and Nebraska? A little that, bit. This is beyond my knowledge. So a little I bit. No I thought idea. about wearing a red shirt, but I didn't want her to hit me. Yeah. Oh, so it's like that. So it's like that. All right. It depends what sport. If you're a football player, you didn't brag too much from Iowa State, but if you're a wrestler, you were oh, pretty proud time. of Iowa yeah. State. Yeah. Very, very, yeah. very cool. So, so you ended up here how? We ended up here because my husband's career, his um, company is headquartered at, uh, out of LA. Okay. So a lot of years of moving around and him moving through his career and, and the time just came where it was really perfect for him to be here and, and we decided we'd give it a try. and. We have not regretted it for a minute. We miss our family and our friends, but we, we love California. So we really have found a great place for us. Super. How did you choose Santa Clarita? Hockey. <laughs> Hockey. That's <laughs> really deep thoughts. Um, we, our kids were still finishing up high school, and they had agreed to come. They were happy to do it. But um, the most important thing on my son's mind was, can I play hockey if we move to California? And so um, we, my, hu my husband had been coming here for work prior to us moving and had really scoped out where they had good hockey programs and how it all worked and and so we he that combined with the schools we decided this would be a good place for for my son and my daughter was going off to college pretty quick so this is how we ended up here and then um, it's an easy commute for my husband and I'm happy as can be I'm so glad we picked Santa Clarita and why is, what, what is it about Santa Clarita that you love the most because we always talk about how Santa Clarita is so special it, mm -hmm. it, it has so many things that other places don't so what is it about Santa Clarita specifically that kind of draws you yeah. and, and well it definitely defies the stereotype which if you grew up and were raised in California maybe you don't know the stereotype but the hesitations I had coming to California because I just heard of California, <laughs> you know, other than a quick visit or a quick vacation, and, and was nervous. It was not going to be as friendly of people. It wasn't going to be as inviting. It was going to be a little crazier than the Midwest kind of thing. It's just not. These are warm, wonderful people that welcomed us right away. They're giving people. People really care about each other in Santa Clarita. It's, it's a fairly affluent community, but it, it, it doesn't feel as though that matters. Right. It feels as though everybody cares about everybody, and we're in this together, and it's several little communities, but really all working together is one. I just think it's it's a great feeling community and really good for kids. I think a great place for kids to be raised. Thank you so, so. much for taking the time to talk to us, Lori Tucci. Uh, thank you so much. We'll be right back. Hey! So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Welcome back. Wow. What a show. What a show. What a fashion show. What a fashion show. <laughs> Do you know what? You know what? I don't know if the camera can really pick it up, but this is a fashionable pink shirt. I like it. I never said anything bad about it. No, but I'm just telling you. Right. This is a fashionable pink shirt. Yeah, you're, you're kind of fashionable. To go with my fashionable pink tie, I was dressed by my fashionable wife. How's that? That's good. Okay. I'll leave it at that, right? All right. Definitely leave it at that. Okay. But Lori Tucci, fantastic person, came here from Minnesota, brought her family, Santa Clarita, came here for hockey, stayed because her son is now no longer here now. No, he's, they're, they're he's no in longer Minnesota here. again. Yeah. Okay, so she stayed and she's serving our community and doing some really, really good things for our community. Thank you, Lori, from the bottom of our hearts. We love you and we love the work you do for our community. And we love the clothes that you have at Via Tucci and the accessories as well. We have to, we have to add that. That's the most important component. Not yeah. only does she help out the community, not only is she a winner of our Dancing With Our Stars last year, but her fashion is thebomb.com. Boho. Boho. And you finally I, learned what boho was today. I learned what boho was. <laughs> Bohemian. 
Yes. Yeah, but see, you're, the young generation now, everything's got to be shortcuts. Yeah, it is. You have, you have to keep up to, to date with, uh, with social media. And speaking of social media, please, please, please do not forget to like us on Facebook. We have an Instagram. Follow us there. Follow us on Twitter. We also have a website, ourvalleysantaclarita.com. Check us out. Right, Joe? Absolutely. Check us out. Because remember, we're a family. And when you visit us, you visit our casa. And mi casa es... Su casa. Bye-bye. Our Valley Santa Clarita. We create success for your business. This program is brought to you by Newhall Pharmacy.